The Fiery XF Universal Driver is a special printer driver that was developed by EFI. Like a virtual printer, the Universal Driver enables you to print directly to a Fiery XF server from any graphics program. However, the Universal Driver provides you with many additional options when compared to the virtual printer. Also, whereas a virtual printer must be added and configured for each workflow and each printer, you only need to install the Fiery XF Universal Driver once on each computer. It provides bi-directional communication with your Fiery servers, offering you some of the same controls that are available in Fiery Command Workstation. Any changes made to your server will be automatically communicated to each Fiery XF Universal Driver installed on each computer. You can install Fiery XF Universal Driver on an unlimited number of computers and it can be installed from either the Fiery Command Workstation DVD or the Fiery Command Workstation file downloaded from EFI.com. You will need to install the Fiery XF Universal Driver on each computer that you have your graphics programs installed on. It does not need to be installed on the computer that your Fiery server is installed on. To install, open the DVD that has either been supplied to you or that you have created from the downloaded Fiery Command Workstation file, or if you are on a computer with Windows 10 installed as your operating system, if you have downloaded the Fiery Command Workstation file, simply double-click on the file to open it. Locate and open the Printer Drivers folder, and double-click the Fiery XF Universal Driver for your operating system, the .exe file for Windows, On a Windows computer, on the welcome screen that appears, click Next. Select the option to agree to the EFI Terms of Service and click Next. If needed, click the Change button to select a different location for the driver installation or simply accept the default location and click Next. On the next screen, click Install to install the driver. A window will appear stating that the installation has succeeded. Click Finish. To print directly to a Fiery XF server from any graphics program, you must set up Fiery XF Universal Driver as a printer in the operating system. Make sure that the Fiery XF server is started as the Universal Driver must be able to connect to it. On a Macintosh computer, Double click on the Fiery XF Universal Driver. Select the checkbox to agree to the EFI Terms of Service, and then either drag the application icon onto the disk icon, or simply click Install. If prompted, enter your computer administrator password to allow the installation to proceed. A window will appear stating that the installation has succeeded. Click Close. On a Macintosh computer, in System Preferences, click on Printers and Scanners. In the window that opens, click the Add button. In the Add window that opens, locate the Advanced icon. If the advanced icon does not appear, right-click to the right of the toolbar and select Customize Toolbar from the menu that appears. Locate the advanced icon, click and drag it to the toolbar, and then click Done. Click on the advanced icon, and in the Type box, select Fiery XF Universal Driver. Leave device set to another device. In the URL box, you will need to enter the IP address for the computer that your Fiery XF server is installed on. Now you must follow a very specific syntax when entering your IP address. You need to type in udspooler colon slash slash IP equals the IP address for the Fiery server slash XF. In the name box, 
you can enter a more user-friendly name for your virtual printer and, if desired, a location. The name that you enter is what will appear in the printer drop-down menu in your graphic applications. Finally, click the Use box, choose the Select Software option, and in the window that appears, select EFI Fire EXF Universal Driver, click OK to confirm your selection, and then click Add. The virtual printer will appear in the printer's list. You can now close the printers and scanners window. To use the Fire EXF Universal Driver in your graphics application, select File, Print. You are currently looking at the user interface of the Adobe Illustrator application in Adobe Creative Cloud. Note that each graphic package will have a slightly different user interface. From the printer box, select the Fiery XF Universal Driver, and then click the Setup button. In the next window, select the Fiery XF Universal Driver, and click Preferences. Next, select the Fiery XF Universal Driver tab and click Change Settings. The first time you do this, a login window will appear. If your Fiery XF server is installed on the same computer as the Fiery XF Universal Driver, you can leave the local host selection in the server name IP address box. Otherwise, enter the IP address of the computer that your Fiery server is installed on or enter the server name. Next, enter the username and password for a user on that Fiery XF server. I'll accept the default admin and enter Fiery.1, the default password, and click OK. In the future, whenever you access the Fiery XF Universal Driver settings, it will default to this server. In the lower left-hand corner of the settings window, you can click the Change Server button to log into a different server. If you are printing from an Apple Macintosh computer, you will have a Change User button, but not a Change Server button. Instead, you will need to add a separate virtual printer for each XF server that you have installed. Returning to the Add Printers menu shown earlier in this module, the IP address for the computer that a second Fiery XF server is installed on has been entered as the IP address for the second virtual printer. Click Add to finish the setup of the second virtual printer. And now, when selecting File Print in your graphics application, you will see that the virtual printer for each of your Fiery XF servers is available for selection. Returning to the Change Settings window, in the Printer box, you will see a list of all the printers connected to the currently selected Fiery XF server. In the Workflow, and media boxes, you can select any workflow or media that has been configured in Fiery Command Workstation for the selected printer. If you add additional workflow or media options in Command Workstation, they will automatically appear in Fiery XF Universal Driver the next time it is launched. Click on the Customize Workflow button, and you will be able to override a number of the workflow defaults that have been set up. You can change scaling, positioning, rotation, color management settings, and ICC profile selection. Select the number of copies that you wish to print, as well as other settings. If you make any changes here, ensure that the Use Local Settings checkbox has been selected or the current workflow default settings on your Fiery XF server will be used. Save any changes and then if needed click the Customize Media button. Here you can modify any of the available media options as well as any of the special settings available for the selected printer. Options here could include the handling of white ink, cutting, drying, etc. Again, if you make any changes here, ensure that the Use Local Settings 
checkbox has been selected or the current media default settings on your Fire EXF server will be used. When you are finished making your changes, click OK. In the Printing Preferences window, click OK. In the Print Setup window, click Print. Finally, in the Print window, click Print. And your job will be printed to the selected workflow of your Fire EXF server. Now, all of the changes that you made when selecting or customizing the workflow and media options are now the defaults for this computer. If you want to use the same settings on future jobs, you simply need to select the Fire EXF Universal Driver from the printer menu and select Print. You only need to re-enter the Fire EXF Universal Driver setup if you need to modify those now default settings. By default, in Command Workstation, jobs that are imported into Job Center are imported as Hold Jobs, which means you must start the print process manually. To print jobs automatically on import, Clear the workflow setting, put all incoming jobs on hold on the job detection pane. This completes this module.